I'm excited, a little nervous, but mostly excited and happy. Just seeing everybody that we love and who loves us and it's just very special. I think uh, just the way that I feel supported and cared for and just always there for me is my best friend and it makes me happy to come home every night. He's always there for me and uh, we're always laughing together, having a good time. I remember, I think it was maybe three months into us dating. I think, I think he already knew, but it took me a little longer to really know. But I think we had one specific date on the Santa Monica Pier. It was very cheesy, very cliche date. We went on the rides, he won me some like stuffed animal. And I think we were just walking around the pier and I just felt you know, that I knew that I loved him. Yes, yeah, so he had told me he felt that way before, <laughs> and it took me till that night to, uh, to say it. And uh, I asked him to say it again first, and then I, I said it back. <laughs> we've been together for eight years, so I think we've had a lot of time together, and a lot of, you know, we've traveled a lot, we've lived together for a long time, and I think the next step is probably just building a family together. So it's probably what I'm looking forward to now. Funny, caring, and patient. Uh, I also think he thinks I'm funny. Uh, we definitely have a lot of laughs together. He thinks I'm smart. Uh, I think he just thinks I'm a good person overall, even when I have my doubts. He always has faith in me. So. Not too nervous, feeling good. Been expecting to do this for a long time. She's my best friend. I don't think we can live without each other at this point, you know. <laughs> She's amazing. Best person for me. She's my soulmate and can't live without her. Well, I know exactly what it was. I think it was like a third or fourth date, which I'm sure she remembers vividly for other reasons. But we had gone to the Santa Monica Pier. It was very cliche and like just you know all the silly like classic just all the things you would see in a movie you know we went on the rides we went on the ferris wheel played the arcade games and like won a giant stuffed animal we like to you know get do things to their maximum you know try to get the most out of a certain uh experience i think i knew right then like as we were leaving that that was like you know, I knew she was the, the person who I wanted to be with. I, I think less than three months of us being together. And I knew it then. I guess it took eight years for us to get married. But <laughs> we knew it really early on. Yeah, we like the cliche stuff. Like, you know, it's one thing to like make fun of it. Uh, a lot of people like to, but like there's the reason it's cliche and you can just enjoy it. Starting a family, in a way we already are by getting married, right? Because like now all these other people are joined together. So it is already making a bigger family. In three words, that's not enough words. I'm sure she's got the perfect three words for me though. She is beautiful, clever, and kind. But there's many more. I like to think she loves that I'm funny, but it's probably that I'm a giant teddy bear. But I think I keep her entertained that we're, we are perfect for each other. We can live in harmony together.
as your parents enjoy raising you. May all of dreams come through, even those that you don't dare to dream today. Thank you for reminding everyone present tonight about the joy of being young, being healthy, being passionate, filled with hopes and ideals. Thank you for embodying the joy of love. Mazel Tov and I'm Israel. Hi! We're happy, happy for both of you. We want you to have great success, great happiness. Revu, revu, children in the future at the right time. And Joey, as our oldest son, you've always been very sensitive to all your siblings, sensitive to your parents, always showing great intellect and great sensitivity. And it's something I admire and I hope to rise to your level of intellect and sensitivity in my own life. Thank you. Joe and Naomi, and to all of us, may we all have someone who waits at the door ready to give us wiggle butts when we come back home. To you. When Joseph came to us and started enthusiastically telling us everything we need to know about all the different ballets he had recently been to. You both have many things in common. You're both such caring and kind people. You both have such a deep connection with Israel and the Jewish people. You both love to bake and you love to eat out. I mean, everyone loves to eat out. I don't know, it's pretty easy. My wife and I, and on behalf of all the other Robinos as well, would like to and welcome Naomi and her family into our family as we all become one unit together and just thank you all for making this such a special event and evening for all of us and we wish you all the best. And, and I, I really think you guys do make each other better and I can't, I can't wait to see what happens uh, in the future. I love you guys so much. Naomi and Joe set out to be the best tour guides in LA when I visited them. Naomi said, Joe, you're driving. And they took me to get the best food and see the most beautiful views in LA.